quick. Hello, nice. everybody. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Did it give you issues last week? No. No, it was No, nice. it was okay. Good. The only issue was you weren't here. Yeah. That was horrible. Yeah. Look Not who's my back. Fault. Me. <laughs> I'm back. Barely. I'm barely back. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. That's Alexis. That's Bert. And. Go live on Instagram. So now. Welcome everybody. We're broadcasting on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. So welcome if you're places. brand new to the channel. Um, welcome. And if you've been here before, which we have pretty much everybody, Yep. Uh, welcome back. And if you haven't been here before, make sure you comment so we know what you're yes, new. Yes, comment. Let us know that you're new. And I'll, we'll throw out a couple topics. We'll take your questions and uh, comments from the from the chat. All we ask is that you just be kind and um, don't do anything dumb. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's all we ask. Be nice, behave. <laughs> Mr. Pickles asking if I'm pregnant, so I'm gonna assume that you're new. Wow. Oh. Yes, I am very pregnant. <laughs> okay, and if she wasn't, wow. <laughs> yeah, <Dude>. right. <laughs> Read the room. No, that's Ooh funny. <laughs> that's that's that yeah. one thing that I don't care how pregnant somebody looks. I ain't asking. That's how my dad is. Because that one time that she ain't pregnant, and you go, wow, when are you do? What are you talking about? <gasps> Like, yeah, I'm just going to, like, go pass away real quick. I, I, <laughs> oh, yeah. gosh, yeah. Hmm. Yes, and she is due in a little bit over three weeks. Yeah, yep. Hopefully. <laughs> Fingers crossed. So yeah. we have some news on that front. Yes. Okay. Yep. Because I kind of teased in with that one in the description. Oh, did you? I didn't even read it. Uh, Tom K., straight out of the gate. Thank you very much, Tom. Two bucks, super thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much. I've seen him on a couple oh, yeah. of our lives. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, I always know the um, the Avatar. Yeah. I'm horrible with names. Oh, yeah. I'm great with visuals. So, like, I know avatars. It's a flaming skull. I, can you see it here? I'm going to stalk your profile picture. <laughs> oh, nice. Show them that. I can pull it up big. Yeah, wow. So if you guys see me looking intently at the tablet, it's probably because I'm spying on what you look like. Uh-oh. Or what your profile picture looks like. Don't do like. that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like that one. Yeah, that is pretty cool, actually. That is really cool. Uh, Thomas Brown's here. Um, John John or is Bowen, asking I'm sorry. if we like the new YouTube layout. Is there a new layout? I don't know. <laughs> me either. I don't... I actually don't use YouTube, so I don't I know. I use YouTube a lot, and I haven't seen a new layout, yeah, so. <laughs> Maybe hit yours hasn't updated. It's quite possible. Probably not. <laughs> I'm a mushroom. You're a mushroom? Yeah. They keep me in the dark and feed me poop. What are you talking about? YouTube. Why? I don't know. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm always the last to know stuff <sighs> with YouTube. I try to keep up, but All it's right. like, God, there's so much there, man. <laughs> Anyway, Mark Sylvester's here. Hello, Mark. <sighs> Dan says, happy 60th birthday, hashtag Rolling Stones. February 9th, 1964, American music and culture changed forever when the hashtag Beatles appeared on the Ed Sullivan show. A little over two months later, we got the Stones. Yep. Do you know who Ed Sullivan is? I don't think so. Uh, he was, it was a variety show. But if you were a musical act, yeah. to get on Sullivan was like, they don't really have anything even remotely close to that important. Uh, but if you got on the Sullivan show, that was it. And like You the, made it. Yeah, you did. And it was funny because there's that famous story where the Doors played Sullivan. Huh. And they, had, they were doing the song, Come On Baby, Light My Fire. So Light My Fire has, you weren't allowed to say that because... It was, they they thought it was uh, inappropriate language. So they asked him to change the lyric. And asking Jim Morrison to do anything was not going to happen. <laughs> that whole band was like, but so anyway, so he went ahead and did it. And that was a famous story, how you'll never play Sullivan again. And, and he didn't. Uh, the Doors never played Sullivan again. But it didn't matter because they were at the Doors. Yeah. And, but wow. yeah. Yeah, you don't have any, like, Kingmaker shows. Like, for comics, The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, you know uh, Jimmy Fallon hosts The Tonight Show now. Yeah, yeah. 
back back in the day it used to be car um uh, um uh, good god johnny carson um if you were a comic and you got on carson if you got on the tonight show mm -hmm. your career was really good right you had made it to get yeah. on to get on the tonight show when you knew you made it as a comic is when he asked you to come over to the couch and sit down because like after you did your set and goes come on over when he would wave you over and come sit down and he talked to you for like like he do like a two minute bit yeah and then you're out of there oh so but, it suck if you're like anticipating it and then he doesn't ever and he doesn't call you over no that was yeah. a big deal for oh. comics back in the 80s and, but if you got asked to come over man oh. you everybody knew that you were something yeah wow yeah that's pretty cool Huh. Uh, John John says that the comments are no longer below the video, that they're on the right side of the page now. Oh. Okay. So. That's interesting. interesting. Yeah. Doobie Dave's here. What's going on, Doobie? Uh, Keith's here. Joe's here. Bill? Joe's already uh, asking for the chicken talk. Oh. That's the last time I said, you can't wait till 8 o'clock to ask about it. <laughs> we have it. it. We have it. We got we got pictures or <laughs> at least video. Yeah, <laughs> she sent a video, so hopefully that'll work. Uh, Amy Lynn's here. Hey, Alexis and Birch. She says hello to everybody. Sims in the house. Ben's here. What's up, Swamp? What'd you say? Uh, swamp. 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 All right then. <laughs> I'm not allowed to call him by the nickname I used to know him by. Did you have a nickname in school? Nope. No? Nope. Just Alexis. So he had a nickname that I've known him by for like most of my life. But now like that other part of his life because he lives further away now. Gotcha. And so that whole part of his life now they, they, they his nickname is Swamp. So... Okay, Swamp. I know. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. <laughs> um, let's see. Mike Cates, Zen is here. He's said, or uh, they say, hi, I'm new to the chat. So thanks for commenting, Zen. Zen love. Yeah, I haven't noticed that name before. No. Hmm. Uh, Denise is here. Hello, Denise. Denise said, welcome back. It's nice to have her back. Guess who's back, 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 back again. again. <laughs> Shady's back. <laughs> Tell well, your friends. <laughs> well, it's, it, <laughs> guess who's back, guess who's back, guess who's back, guess who's back, guess who's back. <sighs> oh, whoa. Oh. <laughs> um, it's a different show when you're not here. Yeah. It's it's just it's a I different I watched a little bit of it. It's a different vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can kind of understand because it's like it's weird going from two people to one person yeah. on a regular two-person night. And it's it's tough for me because it's like I'm trying to do this and that and do the whole thing yeah. whereas you here and it's 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 a whole different yeah. banner like my mindset changes yeah like i get more talkative like not conversational right so i i try to walk myself back in that in that mode i gotcha uh michelle okay guys i have to know your thoughts on nsl uh snl skip beavis and butthead i haven't left that hard i didn't see it did you watch snl this week no, I don't watch that. I know they did the Beavis and Butthead skit. What was the one that we watched over the oh, weekend? Oh, we watched... Um, oh, the rapper. The the rapper. The, that was funny. With Pete Davidson. And uh, uh, the Willy Wonka Chalamet. Guy. Yeah, that was hilarious. Yeah, where uh, I would like to say the car rats. <laughs> skirt, skirt. Skirt, skirt. <laughs> <laughs> if I could play a bit, I would play that because it's funny. Maybe that we'll, is hilarious. That is that is one of my favorite bits I've ever heard. Cause I, yeah, <laughs> oh, it yeah, is that just one too funny. Hilarious. That's what stinks about that. But we'll be able to solve that. Uh, you, yeah, you told me about that. Uh, yeah, like when we can put the player on the website. Yeah, on the website. Yep. Yeah, that is pretty cool. So, and I thought about it. So what we'll do is we'll probably do on the website. We'll put the player on the website. So we talked about this on the Friday show. Um, what. 
what we're going to do is to kind of test this out, and I don't know when. Might do it. It depends on on how the baby goes. Yeah. But we'll put it. We'll put a live player on our website and just stream us doing our recordings mm -hmm. on the website. There you go. We'll record that yeah, too. Yeah, just for just to but test it out. But if you guys ever want to watch like behind the scenes of how we record our stuff, we'll we'll do that for. <laughs> we'll just let it play for three hours. Watch at your own. <laughs> yes, it gets a little dicey, especially when things go wrong. <laughs> My language gets a little <sighs> colorful. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I think that'd be kind of neat. So, I right, we'll test it out, see what happens. Oh man. Um, so let's see. Scroll on down. Doobie says that the Beavis and Butthead skit is hilarious. I have to watch it. I saw that they did it, but I didn't have a chance to watch. It's uh it was a pretty busy weekend. I've been yeah. I've been just slammed busy. Yeah. Um and hurt my knee, so I've been like kinda hobbling around. How I don't even I have no idea. Oh just just it's just something's Something started hurting, and I'm going, I have no idea why. That's age. It is. No, and you're going, <laughs> I don't get it. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't, like, you know, jump off the roof or anything. And it's like, your knee just goes, remember me? Yeah. Nah. How was your weekend? Um, Saturday, Sunday. My weekend was fine. Okay. Yeah, we, uh. We built a, um, on Sunday, we built a farm stand. So it's, it's a farm stand. Yeah, so it's like a stand. We built it out of, like, wood, and we're going to put it at the end of our driveway, and I'm going to have, like, eggs oh, and, like, okay. soaps and aloe and vegetables and stuff. And, okay. And I bought, like, a like a cash box that mounts to it. Right, right, right. Like, kind of like an old mailbox. Yeah, yeah. Um, I kind of do, like, an honor system type thing. And, you know, I mean, the people steal. Put a jar out there. and Yeah, so um, just to put stuff out there. And then especially, like, with having the baby. Like, I, mean, I have my own business, too, but I don't have, I'm not going to have the energy or the time to really, like, no. do anything. So if I wanted to put some of my stuff out there as well, mm -hmm. I can, you know. I bought, <laughs> hopefully, well, I don't, it, I bought a fake camera <laughs> to mount to it so people think that it's a real camera. <laughs> <laughs> Honesty through paranoia. Yes. <laughs> they're less likely to steal if they think they're being recorded. You just put a jar out there with a couple dollar bills and they think that somebody's watching them. Yeah. That's so, brilliant. Yeah. So um, we built that. So that's well, cool. I've, there's one actually going out the back way to Lowe's. Is there? Yeah. There's like. Oh, 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 yeah. I know where I, you're talking I've seen about. the little stand yeah. like in that one house. There's like a fruit stand. It's yeah, like an orange. Right. But they have like, oranges and tangerines. And like stuff. we live off of like a, a main road. We don't live on the main road. Like we live on a side road off the main road. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of people that travel that road. Mm -hmm. So, you know, my husband's like, everyone around here has chickens. Like no one's going to want chicken eggs. And I'm like, but people that are coming home from work. Sure they would. People that are coming home from work that don't live around here. That don't, don't want to stop chickens, at Publix. Yeah, and they want fresh eggs, like yeah, and and you build like you know a relationship. They they'll keep coming back. Yes, you know what I mean Agreed. for anything that you yep. have. So we uh, we built that. And she has new chickens. Yes. Yep. I got I got six new chicks, six chicks. Um, I got those like like a month ago. Hang on. <laughs> They're like little dinosaurs. They've gotten so big. Look at them. They're so cute. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> so They're bigger than they were in the pictures. Oh, yeah. They're a lot bigger. Yeah, and the pictures, when I first got them, they were like, they'd fit in the size of my hand. Mm -hmm. And now they're like, they're like little dinosaurs. Uh, Two-legged dinosaurs. <laughs> but they're not, they were outside of the run because mm -hmm. the chickens will peck them. Okay. Like the adult chickens. Oh, really? Yeah, because they're like, what the heck is this little thing running no around? No kidding. Yeah, one of them got in there, and it was like pecking the crap out of it. And I'm like, stop. Stop pecking my... Will they kill it? Probably. They probably would. Okay. Just out of curiosity. Not out of, like, being mean. Jeffrey Dahmer chicken. Yeah. But, like, if there's a bug in there, oh, they're going to peck it, peck it, peck it. Okay. Because they don't know what it is. Right. You know what I mean? Snakes, anything like that. They'll just peck and peck and peck. Wow. Um, so I have them separated, but and I don't leave them out. But since we were outside, they were just running around. But what's cool about them 
and why we added those specific chickens. What color were they? They were black. They were black. So we go on golf cart rides where we live and everyone has black chickens. Everyone. And I'm looking at, I, my favorite color is black. So I'm like, we have to get black chickens, right? That was just like a silly comment I said. Right. Well then, on my TikTok, I'm on Chicken Talk, so I got a video. There's a, wait, 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 wait. Yes, Chicken Back Talk. Up. I Hang send on. you Chicken Talks. Chicken okay. TikToks. So that's Chicken Talk. Yes, that's Chicken Talk. I saw talk. the one guy. Yeah, so that guy. These people are weird. It's funny. Yeah, that's me. They are very bizarre. <laughs> they take their chickens very seriously. They are serious animals. Okay, so, Anyways, so Chicken Talk yeah, so he with pops, Alexis. He pops up on my page, and I'm watching him. I like that guy. He gives you a lot of information about chickens and mm -hmm. tips and stuff. Okay. He says that the reason you get black chickens, this is about to blow your mind, is because a hawk. Is thinks, racist. No, a hawk thinks that black chickens are crows, and crows scare hawks away no way yes i thought you were going to say that the that the hawks are racist well, i mean i guess they kind of are <laughs> they kind of are because everyone That's around funny. us everyone around us has chickens that we see just free ranging that makes such sense and i always say to john i'm like how do their chickens not get ate by hawks because <gasps> there's black ones and the hawks think that they're crows wow and they stay away from and them. they'll stay away from crows no kidding yeah so i was like even more so of a reason that's why you watch this show. Yep. Even more so of a reason, I already wanted black chickens. But now there's an actual reason. Right. There's I a functionality to it. To help protect, protect the other chickens. To help protect. It right. may not it may not work. Well they'll think but twice before they start coming into that they neighborhood. Will. Exactly. <laughs> so I was like, we gotta add them. And so we went we went up to the store and there was thousands of chicks and my son loved just watching them. It was really cute. So we decided to get six. Mm -hmm. We only had to add four. We got four black chickens and then two dark chickens that are really pretty, mm -hmm. but their egg color will be different. Really? So the eggs or the chickens I have now lay light brown. Okay. The black chickens will lay really, really dark brown. Okay. And then the marble colored chickens that we got will lay like a green color. Green eggs and ham. Sure. No kidding. Mm -hmm. So, are there different tastes like a, to the different eggs? No, they different all taste egg the same. colors. No, they no, they all taste the same. No, all the eggs. They chicken, taste like chicken. All chicken eggs taste the same. Chicken and duck eggs, those taste. Well, different. ducks, I would figure, would yeah, be different. Yeah, ducks and chickens taste just a little different. And duck eggs are bigger than chickens. Yes, they're better for baking. They're better nutritiously. Okay. They're better overall, honestly. Huh. They're thicker. They last longer. They stay fresh longer. How long do eggs stay fresh? If you don't wash them, you could probably get like six or seven weeks. That's crazy. Yeah. Because when an egg is laid, it, there's like a protective enamel over it. Mm -hmm. And if you don't wash it, it, it keeps, keeps it. it. Yeah. But the second you wash it, you have to put it in the fridge. So like I have cabinets of, chick of eggs. Of eggs. <laughs> no kidding. Yes. Cabinets of eggs. So yeah, my farm stand will help me sell them because I'm not... Because come August, September, when these chicks start laying, uh -huh. I'll be getting 11 eggs a day. Okay. Eight chicken eggs, three duck eggs. Okay. That's a lot of eggs. I don't need that many <laughs> eggs. So I might as well make a couple bucks from it, you know? While Bill says, new chicks equals fried chicken in a few months. No, they're not chicken eggs. <laughs> I mean, they're not chicken chickens. Chicken eggs. They're not chicken chickens. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Um, someone, I just seen a comment, but then it disappeared. Someone said something about painting the chickens black. <laughs> well. Oh, dye their feathers black. John John said that. Mark no. Sylvester said, what stops raccoons? Uh, nothing. Nothing stops the garbage panda. Mm-mm. But the difference. 410, maybe. Is they, the garbage pandas, they'll attack at night. Mm hmm So as long as you have them secured in the coop. Mm -hmm. then you're fine. Yes, there are <laughs> raccoons out during the day, uh -huh. but they're not, they're not as likely to go. No, they go foraging at night, though. Yeah, so they're a little different. So it's like coyotes, like my run that I have, mm -hmm. like that in that video you could see the 
You know, if an animal really wanted to get in, absolutely they could. It's not like it's bulletproof whatsoever. Right. But we're outside a lot, mm -hmm. so it's like the odds of me not noticing something is very small. Okay. You know what I mean? And then at night they are put away. Terry obviously. Callahan says, now I have to spray paint my little yellow chicks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, Dither I'm just feller, telling you. Dither feller's black. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Alexis has a bachelor's in chicken. <laughs> I have done so much research in chickens, it's crazy. Literally, I'm about to start making like these, it, they're called flock blocks. It's like, it's like treats, a block of a treat that you can hang and the chickens will pick it. Okay. And, I'm, and there's literally only a few that are sold in stores. Mm -hmm. and they have so much crap in it, like chemicals and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so I- you make your own? Yeah, I, I learned like a way to make my own. I just haven't yet, but that'll be something that I'm gonna sell at my stand too. Cause I'm like, all these people around us have chickens. So when Alexis leaves the show, it's gonna be because she's an entrepreneur and she <laughs> has cornered the market on chicken stuff. Hey, listen, <laughs> you just gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> You got to just meet the market that's that's correct around you, you know? That is 100% just correct. Just like Stanley Cups. Stanley, the brand Stanley have been around for years. Yep. For men, for workers, blue-collar right. workers. Yes. And then they're like, oh, let's change our direction to women. Well, Billion-dollar company Well, now. you know why? Why they changed their marketing to women? Yeah. No, I don't know why. Because I... The chick wrecked her car, or her car like caught on fire and burned to the ground, oh, and the only thing that. left was, was that Stanley, Stanley Cup. I saw that. So then everybody runs out to get them, and the price goes. Whoa. Yeah, and then they add pastel colors, and women go Ugh. crazy. I don't have one. I do not have one. <laughs> <laughs> Prometheus said lead color stops raccoons. Yeah, yeah, that is true. Oh. That is true. Metal, Metal Mark, Mark says, have... raccoons already have masks. They came prepared. That's exactly right. Yeah. Little thieves. Yeah, they are little uh, thieves. Mr. Pico Boulevard. A great song and video to review would be Guns N' Roses is Strange. Actually, we just did um, Civil War. That'll be dropping, oh, yeah. I think, tomorrow. Yeah, that was a good one. So, yeah, we have a busy, good Lord, we have a busy week. Good. Um, That's good. Run? Is that Run Tour? Run Tour. Uh, what's up, Alexis and Birch? Birch. Yeah, why isn't my name cool? He said, oh, yeah, he didn't. He said, what's up? Unbelievable. What's up? Oh, God. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what man. up? Yes, Ben says Easter Eggers. Yeah, that's, that's a type of, like, kind of, it's like a kind of a chicken breed. It's not, but it's kind of. Easter eggers are chickens that lay all different types of colored eggs. Really? Mm -hmm. They actually have something called Easter eggers. Yeah, well, they're not, like, their breed isn't, like, an Easter egg. Mm -hmm. It's not called Easter eggers, but, like, the category that they fall into. Mm -hmm. Like, there's multiple breeds that are considered Easter eggers, which are the best chicken-laying eggs. Okay. Chicken things. Learn something new on F Farm Town USA. There you go. Flickering box. Yeah. So that that um, that hawk that got my chicken. Now I hope he goes away. He still he'll sit right on right in the tree. He's still there. You can see yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, I see him all the time. I try to I try to scare him. He's uh. not too scared of me. But he'll he'll be scared of my black chickens. Yeah. So. <laughs> um. So what's up with the health? So you went oh, to the doctor today. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Did you say did you say anything? What did you say last week? I said you were under the weather. Okay, so I'll give the back Which story. she was. I was I was I didn't I didn't go into detail because I figured she could do it. I just said yeah. you were under the weather and which I think was vague enough. <laughs> yeah, that is very vague. <laughs> <laughs> to say the least, that was very vague. I, I didn't know where we were going with that, and I'm like, <laughs> well, that so last Tuesday I had a regular doctor's appointment. I went there and my blood pressure, I don't even remember. It was like 163 over 80 something. Which is high for her. That's high for a lot of people. Yeah. I guess the concern part is over 140 
five for pregnant women. Okay. So over 145 is when they're really concerned. So mm-hmm. that's huge. That's a big jump. Well, an 80 something on the diastolic is yeah. very high. So when I got there, they took my blood pressure and I knew it was bad because they kept like doing it. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh God, that means my blood pressure is high because they can't get a reading because it's so high. Mm-hmm. And I had figured it was going to be high just because I was. we were dealing with some stupid crap at home and like it had been making me like anxious and so I knew just I just had a feeling going into it it was going to be high and I told the doctor listen it's fine (laughs) I promise I'm fine I've just been stressed out Mm -hmm. and that's why it's so high because it hasn't been high my entire pregnancy right and And it was last time yeah and and but even last time with my son I was diagnosed with preeclampsia and it was never that high Right. So it's like it has to be an outside effect. Mm-hmm. He's like, I don't care. Go and across the street to the hospital. I was like, ah. So then I text you. I'm like, ha, yeah, I'm going to the hospital to be monitored. And I, I'm like getting about ready to get start getting ready for the show. <laughs> and she's like, hey, I'm going to the hospital. <laughs> I'm not going to be there. <laughs> yeah. So I go to the hospital. They do monitoring. They do blood work. Oh, by the way, she did scare the absolute hell of me because she's you. You sent me your your blood pressure. Oh, the you told me what your blood pressure oh, was. Oh yeah, that was the next day. Yeah, I freaked out. Yeah, that was the next day. Was it the next day? Yeah. Okay. So I go to the hospital. They give me steroid shots because they're like, if your blood pressure is this high, like we're gonna have to take her out early because it's not safe. Like at that level, it's not safe for mm-hmm. her to be in there. Right. Um, they end up letting me go home, and I had to go back the next day for my second steroid shot. Okay. And that's when I took my blood pressure at home, and it was still... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was still high. Yeah. Um, but then he was like, come back on Tuesday. Today. <laughs> right. So I've been fine. My blood pressure has been fine. I've been monitoring at home. You know, whatever. Yeah, the blood pressure cuff it all. Yeah. And the last couple of days... It started Saturday. My feet were super swollen when we were recording. Yes. Remember? Yep. Sunday, Monday, and then today, I've been having, like, the fuzzies, like, oh. in my eyes. I've told you about that before. Yep, yep. It's kind of like um, if you're outside and it's really bright and then you come inside and it's really dark and you, like, can't see. Yes. That's what it's like. Okay. But it's not from that. Well, when I went to the doctors today, as soon as I walked in, I got it. And I was like, this is great because I'm here. Right. And I can tell them, and they can it's see. It's happening right yeah, it's now. it's happening right now, and they can do whatever to see, like, what it is. Mm-hmm. So my blood pressure was high, but he said it was fine. He's not worried about the preeclampsia, all my blood work, my urine, everything was fine. But he says, but I know why you're feeling that way. And I said, why? He said, you are scary anemic. What? <laughs> I am anemic. I have always been anemic, but this pregnancy, my iron has been fine. My, like, my iron levels have been perfectly fine. Okay. I haven't had to take iron, nothing. Okay? Okay. He says, <laughs> literally, seriously, I'm not even exaggerating. He says, if Eat you steak. <laughs> if you were to have your C-section, you would have to get a blood transfusion. What? Because your levels are that low. So... I am waiting for a call from the hospital, from the cancer oncology floor, to get an iron infusion before my C-section. No way. So that I don't have to have a transfusion. During? Yes. Why? Because it's that because my iron is that no, low. No, 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 no. Why? Because oh. if it wasn't, if your iron hasn't been a problem up till now, it just dropped. What changed? It just dropped. No, no There's rhyme no or reason. reason. No, it just dropped. Like just out of. I'm already anemic. I'm already an anemic person. Um, and he said that it, it it just it can happen. But you've been fine up till now. I've been f- perfectly fine. Because you haven't mentioned this at all. Mm-mm. And he said, you know, if there was signs throughout the pregnancy, I would have had you on an iron supplement. Right. Because iron takes months. You can't just like start taking iron now and, and, and be build fixed. it back up. No, yeah. It takes months. Vitamin D is like that too. Yeah. So he's like, um, you need to have an infusion. I'm not sure if they're going to be able to get you in within three weeks or not. He said, so I gave them your number. We're waiting on a call. Come back on Tuesday, next Tuesday, and then we'll go from there. If they haven't been able to get you in, 
We'll have to figure out. So they send you the cancer center? Yeah, because that's what cancer patients get done. Okay. Is have blood infusion, or I'm sorry, iron infusions. Okay. Um, because of all the testing and the chemo mm -hmm. and stuff that they do. Mm -hmm. So they gave my number to the um, oncology. oncology floor and the cardiology floor. Okay. So the, the, So if they get an opening, do they call you? Yeah. And then you just go right then? I guess. I have no idea. So I'm like, so now I'm kind of like, so these doctor's appointments, they're very fast. Okay. Like he comes in, he tells you what's good, and then he leaves, right? Mm -hmm. And it's like when you're being told that, you're kind of like stopped in your tracks. Like, a blood transfusion. Right. <laughs> like, that's scary. Yes. So it's like I, I didn't get to ask. So are you alone or does your mom go with you? No, I'm alone. Okay. Like, to my doctor's appointments? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I go by myself. Okay. Because there's no point. Because they're so fast. Okay. Like, literally, it takes like 15 minutes. Do you carry the notepad? No. See, I carry a notepad. Yeah. Well, I wasn't expecting me to be told that. So I, how was I going to know the questions? Okay. You know, so it's like, after I get in my car... <laughs> Then I'm you like, have a million questions. Yeah, so I'm like, okay. So what happens if I don't get the infusion? Are we are we going early? Because if we keep waiting, is my iron going to get lower? <laughs> or is it going to stay the same? So are you on iron? Did he put you on iron supplements no, there's, now? There's no, there's no, there's no it doesn't reason do for anything. It. Okay, so if he put them on, if he put you on now, it wouldn't do anything. No, doesn't do anything so because we're in three weeks. So you just need a blood transfusion. I, yeah, I need. Yeah, I need. Well, I need an, if I can get an iron infusion. Iron infusion, whatever. I won't. I shouldn't need the blood transfusion. It takes about forty-eight hours. Okay. For the iron to build back into your system. Now, what about doing it early? Did he say anything about that? No. So I have no idea. So if I get the iron infusion. Do, are we delivering early or are we still on schedule? And if I don't get the iron infusion, are we delivering early or are we still on schedule? So when are you going back? Tuesday. Okay. A whole week. I'm going to write some questions for him I know. and text you. <laughs> I'm like, so that's really, um, it didn't really, like, I didn't register it. Right. Until I got in the car. Because, like, when you're pregnant... You only care about the health of your baby. Mm -hmm. And she's fine. She's ready. Great. Everything's developed. She's good. That's what oh. he said. He checked off all the boxes today. And so in my head, I'm like, if she's fine, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. But then I get in my car and I'm like, that's kind of scary, actually. I'm not fine. I'm like, okay, so a blood, <laughs> a blood transfusion. Um... I'm thinking of movies, and that's terrifying. So what happens? So so wait. So I could bleed out, or like, the, oh the, dear God! Don't look it up on the internet yeah, either. Yeah, right. Well, so my friend is a nurse. My best friend's a nurse, and she says um, it's not like the movies. She said it's it's really. She said I give people blood every day. She mm -hmm. said it's it's not anything to be scared of, especially if they're expecting it. They'll have everything ready. It's not, we need type A blood. Where's the blood? You know, like there's no blood. Hang four units. Yeah, she's like, you're not going to be like spurting out blood like in the movies. And I'm like, oh, thank God. So after I talked, like that made me feel a lot better. I just pictured like ER. Literally. But that's what, that's like when I started processing it, I was like, oh my gosh, because it's like at the end of the oh day. Oh my God, she's type O negative. Literally. We don't have any we don't in the have hospital. any blood. <laughs> <laughs> Go next door. Find somebody. Literally, that's what you that that's like where your mind goes. It's like in Pearl Harbor. Did you ever see that movie? No. Pearl Harbor, and they're they they had this scene where they're like they're like sh running short on blood, so they're like they get the people, the like airline, the the pilots and whatever is World yeah. War Two get started World War Two at Pearl Harbor, and uh, they're like they're they're donating the blood into like Coke bottles. <laughs> Just anybody that they could poke a hole in their yeah. arm and start draining blood. Jeez. Yeah. No, that's... Do you know what do you do you know what blood type you are? Yeah, I am type A positive. Oh, okay. So okay. I can get A or O right. positive. So it's like they they already so have it. So it's not it. that rare. No, it's okay. not rare. Yeah, no, I'm not like an O negative like what you're saying. But it is it's just I don't know, it's it was scare it was scary for a second and then she was like, you know, it's fine. And everything's going to be fine. They're already prepared for it. So there's no, you know, there's no reason to stress out about it. They're already like, hey, she's anemic. Make sure we have this on by. Right, right, right. You right. Know? They'll be ready. Right. 
But awesome. it does make it makes your brain because I already have a child, mm-hmm. and it's like I can't leave that kid. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Sure, it's sure. like when you don't like with with Braxton originally. Like obviously, you don't want to die. Obviously. But at least, like, you don't have a dependent on you. It's not on my bucket list. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? But it's like, in this case, it's like, holy crap, like, I have a, I already have right. a kid. Right, sure, sure, <laughs> like, sure. I can't, like, nothing can happen oh, crap. to me. crap, now I'm actually responsible for right. another one. Ooh. Right, Like I And I'm like, nothing can happen to me. Right. So it's like, that. that's where I was like, holy crap, wow. like, that's a little scary. Sure. But she made me feel a lot better about it, so. But I, here we are again, just another waiting game. Okay. So just see what... <laughs> I, <laughs> it's on Tuesday. I'm going to have the wife write me some questions so I can text you Tuesday morning. Don't forget to ask the doctor. Don't forget to ask. <laughs> and then after, I'm going to be like, yeah, I didn't ask them anything. You tell that doctor to come on here. We're going to have him on the live stream. I got some questions for you, pal. Yeah, right? No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we'll pipe him in. We'll have him do the video feed. Yeah. We'll do the, we'll, we'll do the, uh, we'll do the visit live. Yeah, so we will see... What happens? But as of now, I should still be here on Tuesday. Nice. Oh, so hopefully I can. Well, that get... was that was the fear is that they were going to go. Hey, by the way. Yeah. Let's let's do the C-section early. Well, come and, on down. And I think that's where I told you that's where I thought it was going, but now he's like, we can't. Right. We can't you're too because anemic. you're too uh, you're too anemic. Okay. Now we need to pray that she doesn't come on her own, and stays in there until we can get you some iron. Oh wow! Because it's like. I could go, go into, into labor. Like, literally any moment. I'm at term, you know? And so he's like... That'd be wild to go into labor, like, during the show? <sighs> no. It'd be awesome. No. <laughs> I have nightmares. My biggest fear is, like, going into labor, like, while I'm in the middle of church. <laughs> like, my water no. breaks. My water breaks in the middle in of the church. In the middle of church. And I have to, like, get up in front of everyone, and there's, like... Fluid coming out of me? No, nah, do it here, man. We'll have it. We'll, we'll deliver here. That'd <laughs> no, be great. No. Be like those, uh, dude, it would make the news. Uh, That'd be awesome for the show. No. <laughs> That's horrible. Gosh, so we would get so many views. Oh, my God. That would be great. Just as long as you don't hear when they, your BP 160 over, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Uh, he was talking about when oh. they when they say your blood pressure is one sixty. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, no. I I told you what mine was at the radio station. Yeah, just that's like I so was solid two hundred over a hundred. No, that's like constantly. So yeah, I was, but that mine was mine was partially nicotine induced, but all stress induced. That'll do it. I was highly stressed, Both. not sleeping. I mean, I'm working twenty two hours a day. Yeah. Well, that is what happens when... Um, Lita Ford, best female... Yeah, we're going to be doing Lita hopefully Saturday. Yeah, so... From chickens to medical conditions. There you go. Uh, You never can say this channel doesn't offer variety. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Oh, that's funny. Yes. We had had a lot of catching up. We would hit one million quickly. Yeah. That would nope. Mike Kate's two hundred over hundred amateur. That that's funny. That's what my boss used to say. The the uh, uh, when the CEO would come into the station and he used to make fun of me because I was two hundred over hundred. He was like amateur. Because <laughs> on on blood pressure pills, that guy walked around. His diastolic was like one thirty walking. That was on pills. That was on like multiple multiple pills. Gosh. Yeah, no, he was a train wreck. Nope. Uh, new channel name, Labor Pain Box. Nope. Uh. Alexis walks on water in church. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. No, but that is like seriously my fear. Is it's, having, yeah. It's just going into labor, like, or, or my water breaking, like, in public. Mm-hmm. That's my fear. Okay. Because I didn't have... My Your water, water didn't break last time. No, they they broke it at the hospital, which was the worst part of the entire entire thing. That was so painful. Did you already have your epidural or no? <laughs> no. It's really? Like a bamboo stick like this much, and they're jiggling it in there. No to way. Pop it. It was disgusting. It, that was. Did the you worst get your thing. epidural after? I didn't get my epidural until after like eighteen hours <laughs> of labor. 
<laughs> what? Yeah, I was going. I wasn't going to get it at all. No kidding. Yeah, but he did not want to come. Are you doing it this time? I don't have to since it's going to be a C-section. They'll just give you a spinal, which numbs you. Yeah. And then, but it, it's a little different than the epidural versus like an epidural during like actual labor. Mm -hmm. It's like you have a control of or like a button. Right, right, right. Get. Like I don't, they, they just have to numb me for the C-section. Right. So it's a little, I don't have to do like the whole process of the epidural okay. this time around. I don't. I don't really know the big difference. There's really I don't really know what the big difference is. Mm. But yeah, I was But you are get getting it. that before you go in. You already know they're yeah, gonna numb to. you up. And yeah, yeah. Like full on. Yep. So yeah. No. So yeah, that's fun. <laughs> Bamboo stick? What country and century was that? No, like I'm not even kidding. Look it up. <laughs> How do they manually break a woman's water? It's literally a stick. Literally, it's hor. It was hold that thought. It was horrible. My How husband said he thought he was gonna throw up. Break a woman's water. <sighs> a thin bamboo tool called. No, <laughs> no I'm just kidding. Oh, no, I was like, really? <laughs> I was like, no way. It says that. <laughs> yeah, a thin plastic tool called. Amni hook. With, yeah, so for it the has amni a hook. Yeah, for the amni amniotic fluid. Yes, it has a hook. 12 inches long. Ruptures the membrane. <laughs> Did I not say about yeah, this long? Yeah, no, it's 12 inches long, curved with a hook. Hang on. Let's see this. Oh, my God. You know what it looks like? It looks like a crochet hook. Yes. It felt Holy like that, too. Holy crap. Yeah, y'all look it up on your own. <laughs> it... Horrible. Wow. That was the most painful part of everything. Okay. Literally. literally. Contractions. Eh. Wow. Yeah. No, Water it looks, breaking. It looks horrible. like a crochet hook. Yeah. It was wow. terrible. Um, it was absolutely horrible. So Danny I'm glad Martinez, I don't have that. Hello, Alexis and Birch. Love your channel. Thank you very much. Yeah. Right now it is... Um, and I don't see these on ours. So we're going to answer a couple of the ones from Instagram real quick. So I don't see these on ours. The software, I don't think, is playing well with that. For I have to send them that message and go, why can't I have the Instagram messages on my regular oh, feed? Oh, pop up, yeah. Um, for Instagram, let's see. Jimmy B426, first time. Hello. Uh, Sav Marie Busco? Busco? Uh, let's see. Carlos, Jimmy, <laughs> uh, when's the baby due? Three weeks or three and a half. Uh, congrats on the baby. That's from Carlos. Uh, God, we got a lot of people on here from, from Instagram. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> uh, somebody, some, somebody very smart. Uh, Fatty <laughs> make butter pants. I will not be looking that up. Yeah, don't do it. No, it's... Mm -mm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Terry says that his wife's water, uh, they broke, or my, my broke my wife's water, and she didn't go into actual labor for another 18 hours. Okay. Yeah, it was horrible. I had my water broken in the morning <laughs> at like 7.30 in the morning, and I actually didn't even have Braxton until 9 at night. Wow. It was horrible. But that's because they were like... They, in, they induced me because of my preeclampsia. So they were, like, trying to force me to right. have him, and he was like, no nope. way, like, lady. Uh -uh. <laughs> no way. Uh, they give it to the baby later as he or she starts to crochet a sweater. <laughs> Joe says, I'll never look at my crochet hooks the same that's ever what again. It, that's exactly what it looks like. <laughs> Alexis, me and the wife have four grown children. She didn't have any drugs at all. Yeah. And the second she went to work the next morning. Yeah. Wow. If it happens naturally, mm -hmm. like like your water breaks, you go into labor, you, you let the baby do its thing, 100% mm -hmm. better than being forced. If your body's not ready, your body's not ready. And there's it, it just makes it so much harder. 
on your body when you're trying to force the kid out. You know, that's not it's not natural. Right, right, right. And I mean, yep. With everything, if it's not natural, it's not going to be better <laughs> for the most part. So you're saying any music reacted to tonight will be soft rock from the '70s. Can't get Alexis to work the. Right. You know what's funny is on the last recording we actually did mostly slower stuff. Did we? Yeah, we did Brian Adams. Yeah. We did Billy Ocean Suddenly. Yeah. We did Krista Berg, Lady in Red. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we did. It was it was a very mellow Saturday. I didn't plan that. No. I it's I happened. didn't I didn't think about it like that, but maybe in my head I went, take it easy. Doobie said it's the twenty first century, you would think they could come up with something better than a crochet hook. <laughs> yeah. Um, so real quick, I, I had mentioned in the in the comment section, I told Alexis. Uh so last night God, I had a busy day yesterday. I had some personal stuff I had to take care of during the afternoon. And then last night had something very cool happen. Uh so you know the my lost role for for those of you on the channel i have that that one video i did of the lost roles of film and i talked about it here on the live show where i got the uh film developed i had multiple roles of film i never got developed from um back in the late 80s and, and 90s and one of them was at the firm park station in orlando and it was the dio concert and jeff pilson was playing bass for for ronnie and i posted a couple of those and told that story. Well, one of his fan pages actually reposted that uh, that video. They reposted it, so which I reached, cool. which is way cool. Mm -hmm. And so I reached out to them because they have all Jeff Pilson people on there and Dawkins people. So I reached out to them. I was like, you know, I thought it might have been him, but it wasn't. It was just fan page. But they're really cool, and they actually had um, the management for Jeff. And so they gave me his email, and I said, cool. So I'll send him an email and ask the management if I could interview him. And they said, yeah. So I interviewed Jeff Pilson yesterday. I can't believe it was that easy. It was just that easy. It was It was like... Everyone else, take notes. Okay? Yeah, it was so quick. And Jeff was, like, so awesome. He uh, That's really cool. Yeah, he was at a studio in his house. And it was, it was really, really cool. And I learned quite a bit of stuff that's awesome i learned quite a bit and i threw him for a loop on some of the questions nice i can't wait to see i, them I heard see some it. stuff i did not expect really it was way funny wow yeah it was it was so unexpected but it was really cool because there there are certain questions that i i have as a Dokken fan that only they could answer and especially jeff okay jeff and george yeah um, and it, it had to do with Nightmare on Elm Street and Don't Close Your Eyes Off Tooth and Nail. So if you guys know Tooth and Nail, the wow, song... Wow, way to give a tease. Yeah. So it was a question about that. So I'm going to be playing that. Um, and you learn quite a bit of stuff. Yeah, it was good. Wow. I had fun. He was a, such a nice guy. That's cool. That's really cool. I'm glad you got to do that. I was extremely happy. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, I was I was just Well, the, that's a good The problem way is when I busy. do that late at night, I was like I was full adrenaline up. And yeah, it was hard to go to sleep? sleep last night. No kidding. It was I, I was like a kid. It was very funny. Because well, and we we talked about the station. Yeah. We and I we talked about that and and I'll give part of it away. He remembered the station in Orlando, the Fern Park station in Orlando. Yeah. He's like, was that place really hot? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, I do remember that. That's crazy. He goes, that was nuts. That is crazy. I was like, yeah, the, the air conditioner broke that night. And it was so hot in there. How does the air conditioner break when you li when you are in Florida? When you have a club like that? In Florida. It was, and it was an older club. But he remembers that. But it was so funny because I'm like, that was such a great night. And he tells some really good stories about Jimmy and the guys. It was just, it was, it was, uh, it, w it was really cool. That is cool. And so, yeah, I, I had a lot of fun. Terry says, in your next interview, you can ask if they know why hawks don't attack black chickens <laughs> and if they know what a water breaking tool is called. <laughs> okay. Can you imagine you the reaction? You say that in jest. I'm going to do that. Can you imagine what they'd be like? <laughs> what? So, <laughs> Jeff Tate. <clears throat> we'll talk about Operation Mind Crime and 
uh, in, in a little bit. And can, can you tell me what what a water breaking hook looks like? Uh, what about? Can you explain why hawks are less likely to attack a black flock of? Chickens? Why are hawks racist? <laughs> Can you tell me that, David Lee Roth? Oh, that'd be so funny. That'd be great. They'd be like, Oh, I'm going to ask that. I'm going to, I'm going to come up with those questions. Those are great. That's hilarious. Um, (laughs) uh, let's see. Eighties guy. Birch had his fanboy. Look, I've, I've made no beef. It's, it's funny. Even when I was in radio, I would tell the guys, I'm like, look, this is a fluffy interview. Yeah. There's no hard hitting questions here. I am full fanboy. Yeah. And it's like, I mean, now some of the questions were 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 specific to them, mm-hmm. right? As yeah. as far as for questions that I've had that I want answers to that only they have. But yeah, they're. I mean, when it comes to those interviews, yeah, I make no bones about right. it. Right. You know, especially if I like the guy. Yeah, and especially I'm not going like, to bust her chops. And especially if it's for our channel, our channel is always about like positive content. It's mm-hmm. not about trying to stumble somebody no you know it's not that's not what our channel is no so it's like why would you even ask questions like that yeah no 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 and i actually did stump him on a couple where he was he was taken back because i guarantee he had never been asked those questions really yeah probably i i figured so yeah like just because they were specific it was very specific and he actually had an answer for both that took a little while for him to like co Huh. Hmm. Ah. Uh, right. You know, but yeah, it was really, really neat. Huh. Interesting. Well, that's cool. I'm excited to see. I'm excited <laughs> to see the. Uh, yeah. The video. The Harris transmitters. What is it? Uh, you're just talking radio show. Oh. <laughs> Starlink. The Starlink sat. The satcom servers and stuff with, for for pulling radio feeds. It just mm. all that and. When you get around radio guys, you mention radio, and like everybody will start talking about like cutting reel to reel, like cutting commercials. Because back then, I came in at the back end of that. Uh, but back then, and during the 2000 election, I actually got some of this on tape. You would get commercials sent to you on reel to reel. You ever seen what a reel to reel is? No. It's. This is. Real to real. That's a real to real. Oh, okay. So I have it's, seen one of it's those. tape, yeah. right? And I said, no, that's what so it's they called. would send us instead of sending us like the very technical people uh, would send us stuff on uh, like MP3 at that time. Other ones would send regular cassette tapes or uh, like DAT tapes or, or uh, DV little mini DVs and the other ones would send reel to reel cool. and you would have to actually splice them I was actually yeah. really good at it huh. um, so yeah when you talk shop and they talk carts and the old cart machines and stuff <laughs> geek talk for radio people geek talk Eugene has entered the building ah hello Eugene he said uh, how late am I <laughs> <laughs> uh, you are 54 minutes late <laughs> yeah, brother 54 minutes late um, so I have something funny. Okay. So people are still commenting on the crows, right? Okay. I have a joke. The black crows. I have a joke. Too hard to handle. Huh. Okay. Are you ready for it? Yes. Okay. It's a great joke. Fire away. Okay. Let me make sure I'm saying it right real quick. Okay. Why do crows never... Why... Okay. Hang on. Sorry. <laughs> I just want to make sure I'm saying it right. I haven't told the joke in a while. Where's the hook? Okay, so there's a research study. There's a research study that crows that are hit by a vehicle mm-hmm. are mainly hit by trucks. Okay. okay. Why? Why are crows hit by trucks mainly? Yes, and not cars. Why? <laughs> because they're always saying, car, car. <laughs> They're never saying, truck, mm. truck. <laughs> and then they get hit. Oh, God, where's the gong? That was a good one, right? Where's the gong? That's a cheesy one. Wow. That's a good dad joke. Ka, ka, ka.
Car, car. I hear it. <laughs> I hear it. You're welcome, everyone. <laughs> wow. <sighs> Dad jokes. Everyone likes it. Uh, I should course. just have to come up with a joke every single show. Oh, my God. <laughs> She's Beatrix Kiddo. Oh, that's funny. I love that joke. I think that joke that's is awesome. great. That's pretty I got, funny. I got a lot of good jokes. Do I you? just thought that one was appropriate for the crew. I like it. Oh, Eugene says Alexis cancels good comedy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Eugene, you can't tell me you didn't chuckle at that joke. How can you not? Ka, ka. Uh, Twisted <sighs> Dave says, I was in radio in the early 80s before CDs. Uh, stuff would come in on, yep, real and get dubbed on the carts. And carts look like, they're, they're, they're basically look like 8-track tapes. You ever seen an 8-track tape? They're, they're yeah. about that thick yeah. and about like that. Um, and that's actually what you used to play your commercials. So you pull a oh. cart and you plug it in and it would play and you'd like have a single play cart. Um, gotcha. Or sound effects and stuff like that. So you'd have multiple cart machines and you're pulling carts and yeah. yeah that sounds like fun. It's it used to be something. <laughs> and you have to run your own board and <laughs> oh wow. Uh, oh my God, Alexis cancels dad jokes. Julie says I'm laughing at your joke, Alexis. <laughs> I need a glass of wine to go with all that cheese. Oh man, I could have a glass of wine. I can't wait to have a glass of wine. <laughs> Yeah, well, you haven't... Yeah. So are you a wine person yes. outside of pregnancy? Yeah. I don't... I don't... I'm not a big drinker, but I like wine. Okay. Yeah, so, like, if we ever... <laughs> if I'm ever drinking, I'll drink wine. Okay. Over, I don't like beer or really liquor. Do you, do you drink wine with dinner? Not, like, every night. Maybe, like, one time. No, but I mean, like, if... if let's say that you go out. Yeah. Do you, or are you if one of those we, people, like, let's say that you get, you know, a, a primer of I don't know what you eat. Yeah. Do you get, like, a... I I think I've only ever ordered wine at a restaurant. Not, uh, maybe a couple, handful okay. of times. Okay. Because I think it's a waste of money. Is it, okay. I mean, it's better to, I'd rather just buy a bottle of wine and drink it at home <laughs> or at a friend's house or something. Rather, I mean, they charge you the I price. I just rather have the Boone's Farm. They they charge you the price of the whole bottle <laughs> for a glass of wine. Oh, that's true. So it's like no, I well, I, I see the people when I money. go out. Yeah, no, uh, I, like uh, when when I when I go out with friends, and I I obviously don't drink anymore. Yeah. Um, but they do, and they drink wine, and I've never drank wine, but I see what they spend on wine. It's crazy. And it's like they buy nope. like. Good wine. Nope, and I like, like the cheap wine. Whoa! I like the cheap wine. You know the wine that they sell at Publix with like the barefoot on it? They also sell it at the gas station. It's like six, seven dollars the bottle. Easy peasy lemon MD squeezy. MD twenty twenty. I told my husband that's what I want for my birthday. MD twenty twenty. No, a bottle of oh, wine. Okay. I don't know what that is. Mad Dog. It's Mad. cheap wine. Oh, I yeah. probably like that, it. Wild Irish Rose. Listen, everyone knows paint. I'm not hard to please here. Okay, <laughs> I don't need the expensive wine. I like my cheap How do you gas like station that? wine. There you go. How do you like them apples? Yeah. <laughs> um, <sighs> let's see. Jeez. Julie Fletcher. Uh, I saw and heard your reference to the Gong Show. <laughs> 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 I, I I had the hook out. You know what the Gong Show is? No. Okay, good. We're going. We're going to watch it. No, I don't. But I've seen a few people mention it in here. Yeah, I mentioned it. Uh, it, it was just box wine. Yeah, see, box wine. I mean, I like okay. bottle wine better, but okay, I'm not hard to please. If it's fruity, I like it. There you go. I, you know, that's just it. I've never been a wine person. Never in your whole entire life. No, I tried it. It's all right. I just, I never could get into it, and it was like, I, I frustrated. I, I don't know if I ever told you that. When I left radio, I helped a friend of mine who had a, a steakhouse. It was a higher-end steakhouse. He just needed somebody to kind of babysit overnight mm -hmm. or the night shift um, and for, like, four or five months. And I, I wasn't, like, a restaurant manager. I mean, I didn't know anything about it. But I'm good with people. I'm a good people yeah. manager. So he was like, you know, I'll teach you everything you need to know. But part of the thing was you have to know wine. I was like, I hate wine. He's <laughs> like, you just never had good wine. So we started on 
some of his better wine. Didn't like it. And we got into, like, the extremely higher-end wines. Yeah. And I still didn't like it. And he was so frustrated with me. And I'm like, I just... Yeah, it's something you either it's do It's not or you my don't. taste. Yeah. And it was, it didn't matter what it was. And it was like different, different foods, different. Yeah. And it just, it didn't work. Well, you know, I worked at Olive Garden mm -hmm. for a long time. And so we had to know the wine and we had to know which wines are paired with what foods. You Correct. Know, red wines and white wines and, yep. and um, blush wines, you right. know, all of the above. And when I worked there, I wasn't 21. Mm -hmm. I was under. But I tasted the wine. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sorry, Olive Garden. <laughs> <laughs> That's a benefit of working there. Yeah, right. That's what kids don't understand. Like, it's like no. But I, I am a. I was a good kid. Like it's not like I was a. Just crazy. back there getting hammered. No, but it's for me to like learn something. Uh huh. I have to like know what I'm talking about. How can I try and sell a wine if I don't even know what it tastes right. like? You know what I mean? Yep. And it's like some of the expensive wine. God awful. I thought it tasted like dirt. Mm -hmm. Literally dirt. Give me the cheapest one. And I was like, that's good. Which is funny for me because... That's good. I never had a problem. MD 2020 is like the cheapest wine like ever, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it was the stuff you could kind of... You could get when you were 13 or 14 if you had a book bag and you were at the store. Or if you were at the little caddy store up here. Yeah. Uh, but I never minded that. Yeah. And... It was fine to me. And I know people, like, they hack on it, and they're like, MD 2020 is awful and stuff. I never I had care. a problem. I mean, it'd wreck you, but that was the goal. Hey. When you're 14, 15. Yeah, no, never <laughs> did that. <laughs> but, yeah, so. Oh, Lambrusco. I like Lambrusco. That's a nicer wine. It's a more expensive wine. Oh, look at you all bougie. Lambrusco, that's a red, that's a Reunite red wine. Reuniti on ice. It's a red wine. Is it? Mm-hmm. Okay. My husband really likes Lambrusco. I think it's so funny when he drinks wine. Why is that? I don't know. He's a bush light guy. He loves that nasty bush light. And I was when he, bush like, light drinks guy. wine, he, like, has it in the glass, and he just no, looks, he doesn't. Like, so fancy. Does he put ice in it? Yes, he does. And he'll, he'll go, he'll go. And no. Yeah, just being, no. just being funny. And I'm like... See, I'm a bush light guy, too. Ew. Yeah. Ew. When I used to go to restaurants, it was like, and I'd order bush light and they didn't have it. And I'd have to drink like Bud Michelob Light. Michelob Ultra? Well, I, I drink Bud did. Light. And if they didn't have Bud Light, it was Michelob Light. <sighs> yeah. Nowhere really has bush light. Like restaurants. Don't. No. But I was I was always a bush light guy. Bush Ew. or bush light? Ew. Bush lattes. Ew. Gross. <laughs> Ugh. Well, that birch light. <laughs> Bush is a working man's face. Absolutely. Metal Mark's joke. Birch Light. <laughs> Birch Light. <laughs> Birch Light. I'm going to make you a shirt that says the Birch, Birch Light. Light. <laughs> oh, um, man. MD 2020 and Grape. Now, I like the Grape. And that was all they ever had up front, too. They didn't ever have the weird flavors or stuff. Yeah. It was just they had the little small bottles, and then if you were lucky, they had the bigger bottles. And you have your friend distract the person with the uh, at the counter. <laughs> I wish everyone could like feel like right here on my belly button. You could feel her foot. No way. You feel it. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you can feel her foot though. A little foot there. Do you know it's her foot? Yeah, it's her Is foot. It? Oh my god. Wait. Wait. No, nope, right there. Yeah. She kicked me. Oh, thank <laughs> you. You could tell it's a foot. She did it it's again. A small. It's a small foot. She kicked me. I know. She's she's like Wow. <laughs> yeah. She's moving. Yeah. She's just got me in the ribs a couple times today. I was like, get. Get. <laughs> yeet. <laughs> yeet. 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 <laughs> skirt. 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 Oh, oh man, that's funny. Sorry, my hands were so sweaty. It's okay. <laughs> I, I got sweaty hands. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, anyways. Baby kicked me. She did kick you. Couple times. Yeah, she. Wow. That's very cool. <laughs> she, yeah, it is cool, right? Yeah. Not really. Not when it you're is. trying to sleep. 
Uh, image from Alien Shadows. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, listen, this is what I want from you, okay? Mm-hmm. When, when I come back... Okay. The first live show when I come back... I deserve a glass of wine. Oh, nice. <laughs> 100 wine. <laughs> you tell me what to buy and I'll have it here. <laughs> I'll, send, I'll send you the public's picture. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Cheap wine. I'll have Missy strapped with a glass of wine. <laughs> nice. That's our new profile picture. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. That's <laughs> That's not. great. Gosh, people would crap on me so bad. What kind of podcast is that? She's got a new baby strapped to her and you she's You got a baby in a bar. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen that? <sighs> uh, was it Sweet Home Alabama? Sweet Home Alabama. I have a baby in, in, in a, a bar. bar. That baby's not doing nothing wrong. Mm-mm. Baby in one arm, bottle of wine in the other. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's um, funny. so this week we have we have a lot. We have rat. Still waiting for that to clear. For some reason, it is not clearing. It's not blocked. It just hasn't cleared yet. Where hmm. I can actually put, po- I I could post it. I just it hasn't cleared yet. Weird. I I don't know what it's I don't know what it's waiting on. Uh, hmm. But yeah, we have a lot of stuff coming up yeah. this week. Good. So we had a great week, great month. Uh, we did over a million views in the last 28 days. That's awesome. That is absolutely mm-hmm. awesome. So thank you guys, uh, everybody who watches the live show and then watches the comments on the channel. So mm-hmm. that is absolutely awesome. We packed on like 6,500 subscribers this month. Yeah. Uh, so that's it's crazy. it's just been an awesome four weeks. It's been, yeah. Been really cool. Right. And hopefully we add more to our stock this weekend and yeah. get us through the month of May. Yes. Because we don't know when this one's going to be out. I know. My husband's like praying that she doesn't come early because the week after the 10th, mm-hmm. follow, he's taking two weeks off. So that week after, his store is going through a remodel. Okay. Which means that he would have to work overnight so he gets out of that. Oh, no kidding. And I told him... Well, I don't care because even if she comes early, you're not working overnight because I can't be recovering from a major surgery no. with a toddler and a newborn while you're working overnight and then sleeping all day and I don't have any. Yeah, no. That, I'm like, no, so regardless, no, your PTO you're not. is going. Yep. Regardless, you're not doing it. So you could tell them to. Sorry. Find something else. Yep. <laughs> no. No. After you get home, no, he's got to be home. Yep. <laughs> that's that's all there is to that. <laughs> Oh. Um, Bert, you need to get it. I would love to. I'd love to interview Ozzy. I mean, th- oh that, god, <laughs> I, I would absolutely love to. And it's like there, there is so much. It's funny because I talked to Jeff partly about that. There's so much history with that, and it's like I've seen Jeff at big events. I saw him in Monsters of Rock mm-hmm. in Tampa, Van Halen, Scorpions, um, Dawkins. Uh, I've seen him. Uh, like p- probably God, 10 times through the years. Big venues, small venues, right? Saw my Janie Lane Sunset Strip. We talked mm-hmm. about that. Did you hear that? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm hearing stuff. So, and Ozzy's the same way. I've seen Ozzy so many times. Yeah. Like, And there's there's so much of my life that is is tied to <laughs> historical moments with him. And it's like, so I would have tons to, I would love to interview <laughs> Metal Mark says, Ozzy won't die. Sharon won't let him. <laughs> and then Metal Mark also says, and Doobie also said this, we need a translator for an Ozzy interview. Sharon! Do subtitles if you do an Ozzy interview, please. Oh, you know that. <laughs> yeah, there'd be, that That would be uh, a great interview because I would funny. need, I would need a lot of time. Yeah. Because there's so much, right. so much there I could talk to him about musically, artists, um, his life in general. It's like, I was telling Alexis about the Alamo. Yeah. So. And the bird. Yeah. And the dove. Yeah. And the bat. And the bat. All the, all the fine history of one Mr. Osborne. Ugh. Okay, guys. Um, let's see. Hang on one second. Uh, Toby, go for May 9th, my birthday. 
Oh wow, his birthday's coming up. So you're you're technically the tenth. The, the tenth. So you don't know. Yep. Yep. So we'll see. Talk bats we'll and chickens. We'll see. Um, so thank you guys very much for joining us. Uh, we have a lot coming up this week. Uh, don't forget before you leave to please like and um, comment on the live. The live. And uh, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It would be awesome. And share with a friend. And that would be really cool. Yep. So. It would be. Uh, let me see. What else we got here? Okay. So thank you, everybody, who joined us. Mike Pintado. Uh, that was over on Instagram. We have a lot of people on. I got I to gotta send the people, the software yeah. people, and find out why I can't get those over there. Um, Ozzy snorting a line of fire ants. He did that too. You I'm not surprised. We we could spend hours talking about yeah. like famous stories of what Ozzy actually did. That's insane. It's pretty nuts. So that he's still alive. Yeah, when he walked into the Betty Ford clinic and like had all the pills and stuff, and because he he thought that they were going to help him stop or teach him to drink responsibly. The Betty Ford clinics like a a drug and alcohol yeah. rehab center. Yeah. And he went in there and he emptied his pockets. He had like Coke and everything else. He thought he was going there because they had told him that if you go there, they'll teach you how to drink resp responsibly. Hmm. Not just quit. Oh. Drink responsibly. Oh. They're not going to make me stop doing Coke mm. or any of the other drugs he was nah, doing. Nah, those are fine. Yeah, no, he like starts emptying. He's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> the guy shot out. God. Anyway. It's crazy. Uh, wait a minute. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Hang on one second. I've seen two different YouTubers that did the entire Operation Mind Crime album since its concept album. It made sense. Yes. And we're going to be doing full-length albums, which we have talked about quite a bit. Pink Floyd doing a whole album. Mm -hmm. Rush doing a whole album. Right. Um, and so those that's coming up. But... This week we got a full full slate and uh, oh and next Tuesday we're going to be giving away two of the free passes. Sweet. We were talking about doing it this week, but with you out last week, um, we're going to do it next week. So Perfect. we'll have two free passes to Welcome to Rockville, which is going to be awesome. They're general admission and it's for all four days. So that's going to be very cool and it'll be trivia. So if you're in the general area of Florida, anywhere near here, and you plan on going to Welcome to Rockville, or you would like to go, because that is going to be an awesome show. Yeah. It's going to be crew and Priest and Offspring and uh, Evanescence and it's Sebastian yeah. Bach and everybody. It's going to be a slammer. Yeah, it is. So we're going to be giving away some free passes to that next Tuesday. So that Sweet. should be an interesting be show. Fun. Um, Just don't miss it. Yeah. So thank you guys very much for joining us on Tuesday. I'm very happy to have you back. Yes. That is awesome. Let's hope I have my um, iron infusion. <laughs> Get your doctor on the line with me. <laughs> we have some questions for this guy. Right. Yes, get your iron infusion, and and we'll tape that. Oh, God. <laughs> All it is is like an IV. Maybe. It is. I already looked it up. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us. That's Alexis. That's Birch. And we'll see you Friday. Bye. Bye-bye.